In this video, we're going to talk about significant figures. Remember, significant figures um, are the numbers that you are actually measuring when you take a measurement. And right. if you don't remember that, well, refer to the last video. Yeah, okay. But remember, you can only be as precise as your tool. Right. So first we need to figure out how do we tell if a digit is significant or not. And so we have some rules for you guys to follow. Now, if it's a number, it counts, right? Right. So the first rule is non-zero digits are always significant. It's really only zeros that we need to worry about when we're doing significant digits. Okay. Okay, so the first example, 25.32 centimeters. It's got four digits in it, and they're all non-zero, so it's got to have all four digits as significant. So one, two, three, four. So the answer, as you said, four significant figures. Very good. All right. So that one's an obvious one. We won't go over that one anymore. The next rule, zeros between other non-zero digits are significant. So zeros in the middle count. Right, zeros in the middle count. So here's our example, 32.03 centimeters. And so that zero is between two digits, two non-zero digits. They bust both. All four of those, again, are significant. All right, so let's see. Very good. Um, a common mistake I see students make is they'll have some significant digits they'll think like these two are and then this one is but the one in the middle isn't. Um, you're never going to see some that are significant then not then significant again. You're never going to have any non-significant in between. So once you say okay these are significant here to here then all of them are significant. That makes sense? Absolutely. Okay. All right. Zeros in front of non-zero digits are not significant. They are placeholders, showing that the number is really, really small. All right, so this one we need to kind of see an example. Okay, so zeros in front. So I see I see one, two, a whole stream of zeros, this mm -hmm. decimal point, and then the number I'm actually worried about is this 35. And all these zeros, you're saying they're placeholders. Right, it's just showing that this number is a really, really, really small. We might have used a prefix like micro or something that we've already talked yeah, about. Yeah, scientific notation, but you could read But later on, yeah. 3.5 times 10 to the negative fifth. Exactly. Um, but we like to convert to base units, so we might actually be working with this number. Okay. Okay, so the number of significant digits in it? Uh, two, because... It turns out it must be all of these zeros here don't mean anything. Well, they just locate decimal points for us, right. but these are the significant digits. Right, so the answer? Two. Two. Very good. Okay, I right. think I got another one for you. Uh, 0 0.243, again, this zero, I, I never even write that zero. Right. Um, so 0 0.243, three significant digits. Okay, very good. All right. Okay, rule number four, zeros at the end of a number but to the left of a decimal are not significant unless otherwise denoted. They are placeholders showing that the number is really large, so kind of the reverse of what we were just zeros doing. Zeros at the end, okay, so like 100. Right, something like that. Or 300 million. 300 okay. million meters per second. This might be a number some of you guys work with sometimes. The speed of light, um, 300 million meters per second. The way that's written right there, uh, all those zeros at the end, they are locating the decimal point right here, mm -hmm. so they must not be significant. So there's one significant digit, the three. Yep, very good. Now, you could write the speed of light more precisely, but usually we don't care about the level of precision. So that just has one significant figure. Okay. 120 kilograms. Um, that zero is at the end, so it doesn't count. So two significant digits. Yep, two significant figures. Okay, this one, if you notice, it's a 10, but I also added a decimal there at the end. That decimal is denoting that you that zero it. was significant. So I actually measured exactly 10, 10 seconds. seconds. Okay, so then they must both be significant. If you actually measure 10 mm -hmm. seconds, they both count. So two significant digits. So two significant digits. You won't usually see that 10 with a dot. Uh -huh. um, sometimes you see someone underlining it if they want um, like that zero, they'll underline the zero. Or you could do scientific notation, right. 1.0 times 10 to the 1. Right, you could do it in scientific notation. I didn't put this rule in here, but anytime you use scientific notation, all the numbers you see are significant. Okay, so scientific notation, not a lot to worry about right. there. All right, rule number five. Zeros at the end of a number, but to the right of a decimal, 
are significant. Okay, so if we put a zero after mm -hmm. this 10 up here, it would be three significant yep, digits. exactly. It's showing you, you measured that with even more precision, and that last digit happened to be a zero instead of a one through nine. So zero is following the decimal mm -hmm. point at the end. So these three zeros right here are not significant because they're locating this decimal point. They're, exactly. They're putting this here, but this zero at the mm -hmm. end is telling me I didn't measure 0.351, I didn't measure 0.349, I measured 0 0.350. So that's one, two, three significant digits. Exactly. Cool. All right, another example, kind of like you just talked okay, about. Okay, 120.0 kilograms. Now, if it just said 120, Mm -hmm. I would just count the two, like up in this right, one. Right, exactly. But it says 120.0, mm -hmm. and so not only is this one significant, but this one is as well. Right. So this is four. Yep. So that would be four significant digits. Okay. And a, a problem I've seen students do in the past is they'll say, oh, that one and two are, but that zero is not, but this zero is, so then they'll tell me three significant digits. You can't have any in-between digits that aren't significant. Okay. In-between digits are always significant as well. So if this one right here is significant, that makes this one significant as well. So all of those were actually measured. Those last two happen to be zeros at the end. Okay. All right, next time we'll actually start doing some math with significant figures. Cool.